What's good, YouTube? This man spilled dog. You know, I just keep. I watched the um, the media media workout for Terrence Crawford again uh, this morning, and I keep thinking about Bo, Bo Max saying that uh, we that Spence waited too long and let Crawford grow into the division. Uh, now, I will admit he has grown into the division, but if he ain't care for Saturday night, he gonna get knocked the hell out the division. Real talk. Uh, I watched that fight again with uh, with Earl and Sean. I said with Bud and Sean, and uh, could just be me. Look like Bud lost a step to me as far as like he, he, it seemed like he just wasn't quite as fast as he used to be, and that could be because like they say, him growing into the division, he might be getting more uh more body mass, which may be taken away some of his, some of his athleticism. Uh, and Derrick James said it best, you know, a lot of these guys is better athletes than they are boxers. And once the athleticism starts to starts to slow down, they start getting caught with punches. Uh, I saw Crawford get hit with a lot of punches that I think two or three years before that he wouldn't have got hit with. I don't, I'm just, it's just me. You know, like I said, I was more of a Crawford fan when he was at 140. I did like, I, I, uh, that's when I was, you know, I watched his welterweight fights too, but I was more into him at 140 uh, because it looked like, you know, the Delorme the fight, then we fought Postal and then Dongo. It's, I started thinking, I thought maybe he was going to start stepping up fighting the better fighters, but he pretty much kind of kept it at that level. Jeff Horn, Benavidez, Mean Machine, he never really took that step up that I was expecting him to take now. He, towards the end, Kel Brook and Sean Porter, although they were shot in at the end of their career, he, I mean, he grabbed some solid names, and the fight with Sean Porter, had Sean took it seriously, Mike could have been a little bit, I mean, I'm not saying Sean would have won, but it could, I think it would have won all 12 rounds for sure, you know, uh, so I'm looking, I'm, I'm watching the dude, I watched him fight Avanasia, he looked slow on his feet in that uh, fight compared to how he usually looked. And I think some of y'all probably see it too, but you just ain't going to admit it, you know. Uh, but, you know, uh, his combinations look good, but they weren't real fast. You know, they were slow, but they weren't like, oh, bing, bing, bing. You know, it wasn't like fast like that, you know, uh, like like they used to be. And I keep, you know, Derrick James, he was a, you know, he was a professional boxer himself. Uh, he, he fought at the highest level like these guys. So he, he, he know what, to, he, he know what's going on. He know what he see and a fighter, uh, you know, because he'd been one, you know, uh, and same go for Bo Mack, regardless to what a man record was or what, if he fought professional, you just because you might not have been the best fighter don't mean you don't know more about boxing than some of the better fighters. They may just have more talent than you, you know, uh, and, you know, I think, I think, uh, I think, I, I really think Bud done lost a step, you know, uh, he, you know, his reach is not going to be the same against uh, against Spence that it was against uh, Porter. Now, Spence not going to move. Spence not going to do make the quick moves and use you know because Sean a good athlete too. That's how he was getting on the inside catching uh, Crawford with them shots. But uh, Spence got other ways about going about doing it, and he's 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 still youthful. He, he's still in his prime. You know, uh, uh, Earl is definitely still in his prime. He's only 33 years old, you know, and you look at all the time he missed with the accidents, you know, uh, that that's just going to bring longevity uh, in his career all that time he took off. I don't think it's going to hurt him as far as as far as his ability. I think, and if anything, it's going to help him, you know, because uh, as long as he's been sparring good, and, and I guarantee you his sparring partners is better than, a lot of them is better than Aphanesia. You, you feel me? So, I mean, uh, I, I think I think Earl will be fine. I really do, as far as that part go, because regardless of whether I don't, you know, whether he's been out sixteen months or not, let's get this straight right now. Earl took the fight. Earl said this is the fight he wanted. So, God forbid if the if 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 it don't go the way we want it to go, we can't can't nobody use that as no excuse. The sixteen months cannot be brought up at the at, that cannot have a factor. And what nobody say did or didn't happen in this fight. You can't bring that shit up because he came out here and fought. So, I mean, 
it is what it is. Uh, you know, you know, ain't no excuses. You know, ain't no excuses. Uh, this is about as close to a straight up fight you gonna get with Chance Crawford. He ain't gonna let. He not gonna fight no top guy straight up like that. But then again, this is straight up like that because Earl agreed to it. So you ain't gonna hear me say it again. I just want to get this put this put this out there. It no matter what happens, Bud nor Earl, there's no excuses. Somebody gotta win and somebody gotta lose. Everybody gotta stand on what they believe. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hear nothing about nothing with nobody. Uh, but if whoever win, give him his props. Whoever win, give him his props. You know, uh, I got Spence all day. I ain't gonna stutter when I say it. But whoever win. Give them his props, cause they deserve it. These are the best two welterweights. That well, you know, yeah, the best two welterweights definitely on paper in the in the uh, in the world. And I think, legitimately, they the best two. You know, uh, and this I I don't see how this ain't gonna be a good fight. Earl is not Earl don't have boring fights. Earl do not have boring fights. You're not gonna be able to run from him like that. So. And Crawford, for the most part, don't have boring fights. He's he knocking these motherfuckers out. So it ain't no way we ain't going to get what we're looking for. And the way I see it is this. If if things go like I think they're going to go. I mean, if things go like I think, if, if it go like I think it's going to go in there, uh, Bo Mack or the referee, they're going to they gonna, they gonna have to uh, throw the towel and they, somebody going to have to stop it. I think about, the, about I say, between seven and 10. If it get past 10, shit, you gotta get Bud credit right there, but, uh, then again, no, nah, ain't no credit. That's, you know, this, this, you know, we gotta take this thing to the limit. Uh, I think Bud will be up out of there between 7 and 10 rounds. I really do. I think, I think, I think it'll be nip and tuck for about 4 rounds. I think around the 5 or 6, 5th or 6th round, the fireworks gonna really start flying. And I think Earl gonna Land a lot of clean punches on Crawford, and I and I and I'm and it's gonna uh it's gonna get up in here. He ain't used to it, you know. He used to having his way, and when he see, you know, cause everybody keeps saying how strong Bud is. Spence pretty strong guy's damn self, and he pretty big dude, you know. Uh, when 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 Spence keep laying that 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 hot leather on Bud like he ain't used to getting, and. You know, just like uh, when I was, like I said, I just got through watching a fight with him and Sean. And Lord have mercy, boy, I hope Tim Bradley ain't nowhere in the building. Uh, especially not close to no damn microphone. Not when Crawford fight. Uh, please, uh, don't bring him up in there. Uh, we, need some, we need some objective people. <laughs> uh, announcing the fight. I don't, shit, I don't know why they got rid of Andre Ward, but uh, we damn sure don't need Tim Bradley. Not in no Crawford fight. Seriously. I mean, he just take this shit a little bit too far. You know what I mean? Uh, ain't nothing wrong with cheering for your guy, but you uh, announce uh, announcing fights. You got you to gotta be objective, and he won't be that at all. You know, uh, so, I mean, hopefully he not going to have nothing to do with, uh, with, the, with, with calling that fight. I don't mind him. I wouldn't give a damn. He called all the other fights. Just stay away from that. Uh, keep him away from Crawford fight because you ain't going to. I mean, he 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 had he had people that know what they, that don't know what they're looking at, thinking all kind of crazy shit when Spence beat the hell out this boy. Uh, I think I I you know when when Spence say it's gonna be a one sided ass whooping, he, he pretty much be on point with the shit he say. He uh, like it's just like Keith Thurman say they all know each other. Uh, I think Earl Ben knew he could beat this dude. I mean, that's how that's how it's been. Uh, he done, he done said and acted the same way about every single one of the top welterweights since he been in uh since he been in boxing. They wouldn't give him a fight. Now that he got the belts. He done went through everybody one by one, just like he said he would. Only one. It's only two he missed. One finna get in the ring Saturday, and the other one will be Keith Thurman from their era. Boots is not from their era. Uh, he 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 in a new class coming up. But in the in the, in Spence and Bud not well, but. Uh, yeah, I guess you put blood in there, but in, in that class of fighters, uh, Spence went through all of them. He, he done been through Ugas, Sean, Danny, uh, uh, Lamont Peterson, Kale Brook, Ocampo, Ocampo, not really, Mikey Garcia, uh, 
Shit, he got he got a nice little he got a nice little roundup on his on his on his, uh on his list. I mean, it was some good ass out here. And uh like I say, man, these was all these dudes was top five uh in the in the rankings and Mikey was top five pound for pound when he beat him. You know, so I think I, I, I really believe that Crawford uh he might deep down inside know this shit gonna go bad as damn self. But I put like this. If Crawford get in there and, you know, like he, like if y'all watch the fight with him and Sean, Crawford caught Sean with a, a sweet body body shot in the fourth round that kind of bagged Sean up and kind of made him readjust some of his strategy. Uh, Spence walking through that shit. Spence walking through that shit, especially that early in the fight. He walking through it. And if Bud can't make uh, Spence respect him like he did Porter. Ugh. <laughs> it's gonna get bad in there. Uh, uh, two two million dollars uh, and all this other bullshit. Uh, Bud and did. Oh uh, yeah, he gonna beat the brakes off him. Uh, and I and I, once again, if Bud can overcome this and beat Spence, he I I had to I had to say he, he whatever the hell he say he is. You know what I mean? Uh, at that point, cause he would have proved it to the whole world. But uh, I know damn well I can see better than Ray Charles and uh, Ray Charles can see. This ain't gonna be like that uh Spence bad motherfucker, man. And he and, and he hungry. You can't tell. Think about it. Think about it now. He could have made good money fighting Keith Thurman. I mean, real good money. He could have made good money uh rematching uh Ugas. He could he could he could have went up and fought uh Castaño or one of them guys. It, it's, it's a lot of fights. Earl could have just took. Well, he could have took a nice little tune up. It's a lot of things he could have done outside of waiting these extra months to get this fight done right here. He had to do this. So why would a man do that? Why would a man put his O and all this shit on the line against a guy that's the, that's so dangerous that he's the best thing in boxing, knocking everything out in the welterweight division? What what would make a man do something like that other than he think he's gonna beat the shit out of him? That's all I can see. You know, uh, he, he got to really bleed down up in here. He got he got blood. You know, and uh, <clears throat> from where I'm sitting, he damn sure the most confident. You know, Spence was not going to let him not uh, see. What Earl know is some of the shit he asking for, he doing it to, to fuck the fight up. <clears throat> so what Earl said, we going to go in and play your game. Fuck it. We gonna let you. Uh, we'll let you try to uh, bogart your way into the A side. You gonna be the and, and your ass gonna be coming up out of uh, in a bad way. I believe that. You know, I think, I think that's when the straightening gonna come. You know, and like I said, when this, you know, I don't dislike Crawford. I think he is a great fighter, but this is not one of the fights where you can you can't choose you can't cheer for both of them. Who you, who you, it's who you with. You cannot cheer for both fighters in this fight. So who the hell you got? I got Spence. So that's what this kind of fight. That this is. He, Bud even said to himself, "You got to pick your side." He. That's real talk. That's real talk. Uh, he, he, you know, dudes want to sit up there and play the middle, and then whoever wins say they knew it. I can't stand that kind. That old weak shit like that. Uh, come on out here and, and, and say what you feel and, and stand on what you believe. Real talk. You know, uh, I don't know where the hell I see Bud beat Spence. I just can't see it. I have I have watched these fights over and over again to try to see what is what's what's the special part about Bud that make me worry. Not a damn thing. Not a thing as far as with Spence. I see a good box in there, but I see Spence beat a bunch of them motherfuckers up. I mean, Lamont Peterson was a, a, a damn good fighter. Beat the brakes off of. Kell Brook was a good fighter. Long, hard fight. Sean, good fighter. Long, hard fight. Danny Garcia beat the brakes off of him. Ugas beat the brakes off of him. Mike beat the brakes off of him. You know, Garth, you know, Mikey Garcia, all these dudes got the brakes beat off of him. So, uh, Crawford, it's they level a little lower, a little higher. But either way it go, it ain't past Spence. So, what's going to happen? Same shit. You know, like I said, it might take him two or three rounds to get that get that motor all the way revved up. But once that thing kick in high gear, it's in high gear now. And uh, that's what, you know, uh, I forgot who was, who was, who was Spence watching fight. Uh, I think who was Crawford fighting in that fight. Uh, 
No, yeah, it might have been a Sean Porter fight when I remember when Spence leaving the fight saying they was fighting at a slow. He's like, man, that pace was real slow. When Spence get in there, you gonna have to pick them. You have to pick up the pace that you gonna get. Or you gonna get run out the motherfucking gym. Uh, he throwing punches. He he coming. He punching and he eating them like Skittles when you throw them back. All the ones he don't block. It's gonna be rough up in there on on on, on good. It's, and it's gonna be you know. Uh, Spence gonna have to be a little more careful than usual because Bud got some sneaky ass up because with them long ass arms and you can't see them coming, you know. So that's one that now that that would be the most if it's any punch that I think Spence really need to worry about with Bud would be his uppercuts, regardless which hand it is. He throw hard with both hands, especially his uppercuts, you know. And Spence hit hard with both hands, so so I say, man, it's gonna be a, this gonna be a, this gonna be a, a motherfucking fight. You understand? Uh, you got two dudes with that real hard in them. Crawford ain't no punk now. He just been milking the game, but he ain't no punk. You understand? Uh, so when it when it going get tough, I believe he gonna get going to the best of his ability. But uh, I just think Earl gonna be a, a lot too much. You know, I think it's gonna be obvious within a couple of rounds. You know, uh, but uh, that's it for me on this video. Like the video, like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your man Spill Dog. I'm out.